Hello everyone, I hope all is well. Please like the video, you guys. And if you use eye drops regularly, you may want to listen to this. It is very important. So according to Medscape, recalled eye drops lead to more deaths and removal of eyes. Yes, you guys, there are several brands of eye drops that are causing significant drug resistant bacteria infections and some people are having their eyes removed. Some deaths have happened because it gets um, into the bloodstream, causes sepsis and death. So according to Medscape, more people have died using eye drops contaminated with what the CDC calls a rare strain of an extensively drug resistant bacteria. The eye drops and ointments from Ezra Care and Delsum Pharma were recalled earlier this year. Three people have now died. Eight people have suffered vision loss and four people have had their eyeballs surgically removed in a procedure called enucleation and nucleation. A month ago, the outbreak had caused only one death. To date, 68 people in 16 states have been affected by the tainted eye drops, with cases spanning from May 2022 to February 2023, the CDC announced in its most recent update. More than half of the people sickened were linked to four outbreaks at healthcare facilities, the CDC said. Most people developed symptoms before the CDC issued a warning on January 20th, a CDC spokesperson told NBC News. Laboratory testing previously confirmed the presence of the bacterium P. R Arigonosa, you guys, I don't know how to say it, in bottles of Ezra Care products from patients with and without infections. Testing of unopened bottles of Ezra Care artificial tears is ongoing to assist in evaluating for whether contamination may have occurred during manufacturing, the CDC stated. The names of the recalled products are Ezra Care Artificial Tears, Delsam, D E L S A M, Pharma's Artificial Tears, Delsam Pharma's Artificial Eye Ointment. Most people affected reported using artificial tears, the CDC said, noting that the most commonly used one was Ezra Care Artificial Tears, a preservative free over-the-counter product packaged in multi-dose bottles. This was also the product used amid the four outbreaks at healthcare facilities that reported a combined 37 cases. Anyone who used the products and has any of the following symptoms of an eye infection should immediately seek medical care. Yellow, green, or clear discharge from the eye, eye pain or discomfort, redness of the eye or eyelid, feeling of something in your eye, such as like something uh, entered your eye, like, you know, whenever we get that feeling, we just want to rub. So if you're having that feeling constantly, increased sensitivity to light and blurry vision. Let me say those again. Symptoms, yellow, green, or clear discharge from the eye, eye pain or discomfort, redness of the eye or eyelid, feeling of something in your eye, such as it's called foreign body sensation, increased sensitivity to light and blurry vision. So stay safe out there, you guys. If you're using eye drops, make sure it's not made by this Ezra Care or Delsum Pharma. These two different companies read your boxes and bottles. And if you have any of those symptoms, please, please, please seek immediate medical attention. And let me know your thoughts about this in the comments. We're seeing way too many contaminations in our food and in our medicines. What in the H-E-L-L -L is going on? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget, you guys. Please like the video and share to help my little page grow. But not only that, 
to help someone who is using these eye drops who may not know what is going on. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.